I'll tell you what, it's a great group as far as like guys like to work and guys who are, are, are competitive. Um, and so what's fun about teams like this is you get to see a lot of growth out of kids and, and get some kids that, that uh, you know, put the time in the weight room and that it's now showing on the field. Um, and some kids that we're really excited about uh, coming up. So, it, you know, when you get groups like these, like I said, you, you see a lot of growth. Um, and, and as a coach, you, you tend to see, a, you know, because you want to be good when you're, when you're young. Um, and you don't have a lot of experience, and, and, and so that'll set the tone for um, you know the rest of the season. You know, these kids as ninth graders, tenth graders, maybe even some as eighth graders saw this program go to two straight regional finals. What do you feel like they take from that, even if most of them weren't on the field for those games? Well, even even though like as a tenth grader and as a ninth grader, and, and, and well, we invite our ninth graders up for practice and things like that. You know, all those extra snaps are valuable. Uh, anytime that you can go in the in deep in the playoffs, uh, you know, you get those extra snaps at practice and so I think that's what's one of the biggest things to take away is that they get that those opportunities to be successful and they know what what the standard is and where to get back up to um, you know we just got to put put the pieces in place to get us uh, and set us up for success a really good thing we had last year was that we had we had a uh, great energy and we talked a lot and that's one thing we knew make sure we work on this year get into the season the line I'm excited for I think we have we're gonna have a great offensive line again I'm uh, hoping that the rest of our team uh, can pick up. I know we're lacking in experience everywhere else, pretty much, but um, I think I think uh, our guys are athletic enough and know enough that they can um, and are working hard enough that they can make up for that. To have the experienced guys, you know, help lead them uh, as well as we can. Uh, try to take as much of the pressure off them. Uh, and tell them no worries, like when we're getting ready for the games. As I asked Joe, do you feel like you guys up front with that experience take it upon yourselves to maybe be a little more vocal? Do you feel like you have to be more vocal this year? Yeah, definitely. We always have to be uh, leaders on the field as offensive linemen, but especially when we're uh, some of the few players with experience this year. Joe and Brady, they, I mean, they, they're they the, the leaders of this team. They run they run everything well. They get everybody into it, you know? You know, ultimately, it's the seniors team. Um, and, and having, the, you know, two, three-year starters back um, is crucial to, to, to getting our O-line ready to go right now. And, you know, adding McHugh on the offensive line and having Chillinger um, having as much experience as he has. Those four guys up front are going to be huge. And I'm just chilling at tight end, but, um, but but even his voice on the defensive side of the ball, having voices up front um, as building our base, you know, skill will get there. I have full faith we'll, we'll get there. One thing that doesn't change, it always starts up front. It does always start up front. Awesome. Make Coach DeLugas happy, right?